Hi, this is Philip at Chateau Avantac. Quick update on the tour of the entrance hall video. As Mark pointed out in his commentary, I did not mention the Naked Boy statue. So I'm doing just a quick update to introduce you to the Naked Boy. Well, there he is in his glory. This statue is called the Apollini, and the original is in the Uffizi Museum in Italy. That's U-F-I-Z-I. -I. The original is in marble. It was made in the first century AD, but it's actually a Roman copy of a Greek statue from the fourth century BC. What's interesting about our copy of it, which is in uh, plaster, is the cloth wrapped around his waist uh, for his modesty. The original statue does not have that and you know, fully displays his full anatomy as he had it. <laughs> this was actually added to the statue, whether it was bought this way or this was added afterwards, I don't know, but it's clear that this is actually cloth that's soaked in plaster or some kind of plaster cloth, kind of similar to what they used to make casts for broken arms and legs out of before they used fiberglass and then it was applied and set. So maybe at some point we might explore whether it can be removed and see if he is fully intact and display him the way he actually was designed to be displayed. There are of course some various nicks uh, and you know, he's had a little bit of a rough life and you can see he's missing a few fingers at the top. There are people that can repair this and so that might be an option down the road. The statue was found in a closet and the base was found in the room under the stairs, the children's room. And the, what's interesting is the base is obviously painted that matches the wainscoting in the hallway. This is the same wainscoting and color that's also in the dining room. So it's possible that the statue was in the dining room. I don't know for sure, but uh, it was clearly in one of these rooms. It's painted in the same colors. And the top of the base uh, is faded except where the statue was originally. So under the statue, there's actually an oval section that matches the base that's darker paint that uh, is not faded. So it's pretty clear that this was the base that was used for this statue. So let us know what you think and please leave comments. Do you think we should keep the statue in the entrance hall? Do you think we should remove the modesty cloth? Let us know. Thank you <laughs> from Chateau Avensac.